Do you want to see a cool proof? Let's go. So today we're going to go over the proof that there's no greatest prime number. And this is just to show you how cool math proofs can be, because they always are. And the first kind of concept that's important to know is that every number is either prime or divisible by primes, which makes sense because you start out with two as a prime number, so half the numbers are even and so on, and the other odd numbers are divisible by the smaller odd numbers. So every prime number every number is prime or divisible by primes. This is important. So to prove that there's no greatest prime number, you can do a proof by contradiction. So you can start out with, let's say that a m is the greatest prime number. And then you can define another number, n, to equal all the primes multiplied by each other plus 1. So this would be a number that is not divisible by any of the primes, since the remainder would always be 1. And this number must be either prime or divisible by primes. But since we've shown that it's not divisible by any of the primes, this number must be prime. And since it is the product of all the other primes combined plus 1, this number is greater than am. So this number is a m plus 1. And am plus 1 is now the greatest prime number. So through induction, you can find that there is no greatest prime number, because there can always be another plus 